We got the living quarters. We got the fire pit. And we got the stars. Nintendo Switch in a box fort floating on water. How sick is this? Mm. Hello, sir. Might I help you today, sir? My name is Chris Bucket, and I would like to offer you a grand deal of a lifetime. We're offering people like you in this area an exclusive offer to buy our brand new sailing yacht, sir. I'm not sure if you're familiar with a yacht, but these are the greatest, the best, the biggest yachts we've ever built. They come luxuriously included with all your amenities you could possibly need. Well, I have been looking to buy myself a yacht, seeing as how I am one of the richest men in this part of town. The yacht itself is one million dollars. Quite a lot of money, but for a man of your stature, I believe it's pretty affordable. My name is Vander von Sphincter, I'm sure you've heard of me. A million dollars, you say? A million dollars for a man like me. It's bucket money. State-of-the-art yachts, they go extremely fast, extremely lightweight, and in fact, you get more for your buck than any other yacht company. Our yachts are completely made out of 100% cardboard. I'll tell you what, my friend. I will take one of your million-dollar yachts. I'm sure it will be a nice addition to my beautiful yacht collection. One of these new fancy boxport yachts you're speaking of. You will! Okay, perfect! Uh, I will sign the paperwork right away. As soon as we have your payment of one million dollars, I'll expect it delivered on the borrow, though. I hope you understand. I'll see the yacht when it's prepared. Only problem now is I don't actually have a yacht made. Nonetheless, made out of cardboard. So to put together my best resources and build a million dollar yacht box. Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? It's Papa JQ from Team Whitney, and we are back with a brand new video. And today, we are building the most luxurious billionaire's floating box for 24 hour challenge. We have to make it the most luxurious box we've ever done. As you guys know, we have done a floating box for it before, but today we're stepping it up. We're using the Titanic box for build, a massive floating box for and we are gonna deck the whole thing out with crazy stuff, gaming, consoles, everything, so we can survive for 24 hours on water in a luxurious billionaire's box for it. Of course, we got our boy Logan here who's gonna be helping us out with the build. And guys, just so you know, we currently have a challenge on this video going right now. If we can get a hundred thousand likes on this video we will do finally the floating box fort in the middle of an actual lake so smack that like button down below guys let's get a hundred thousand likes but right now we gotta start building this billionaire's box fort first things first we gotta inflate our bases for this box fort so these are all uninflated from the titanic let's get these babies ready three two one Awesome, now we got them all together. Let's start building. So now that we have both of the floaties laid out, we've got to tape them together and get these things made sturdy. Obviously we make all of our box forts as sturdy as possible, but considering the fact that we have to survive for 24 hours in the water, this thing cannot break. It cannot fall over because making repairs will be next to impossible once we're out in the middle of the pool. We kind of ended up going all with orange, so it has this really cool look to it. We're actually gonna go ahead and put more flooring on top, but we're not gonna tape that down. And the reason for that is because once we get on this thing and it starts to move around and kind of stretch, if we tape it down, it'll start to rip. So the second layer of flooring is something we learned over time doing these floating box forts. But once the second layer of flooring is down, we're gonna start on the walls, get the roof done. As you guys can see, it's starting to get pretty dark out and this is a 24 hour challenge. So we gotta get this thing built, get inside of it with all of our gear and get ready because night's coming pretty quick. The floating box fort mansion is almost complete. This thing is so huge. We actually decided here, guys, we were going to have like an outside patio because I mean, it's the mansion, the billionaire's fort. So it's got to have a nice patio to chill in. We're actually going to put a wall here and make a door into the inner part. We're still going to deck out that inner part with a bunch of cool stuff. We've got waterproof lights, flashlights, speakers, a gaming console. It is going to be so awesome. We got to cut out the windows as well as get this last little door in and then get this boat in the water ASAP. Yo, Jake, I was thinking we put a window like right here at the front dude that'd be <laughs> sick man a front window yeah let's just get some awesome windows in this thing yeah dude let's get like a nice like thin window here and then on these sides we'll have some traditional windows but this should look awesome <laughs> There we go, that window is looking super awesome. So at this point, we got window one, window two. Let's do one on the other side. Window 
number three. Now all we gotta do is build a door to enter the box fort and then we're good to go. While Logan's working inside, I wanted to show you something really cool that we got for this box fort. It is an underwater light and check this out. We have a control panel that we can mount inside the box, turn it on like this, and there we go. We can change the colors, make it whatever we want. And not only is this awesome to put inside the box, because now we have basically really cool LED lighting that we can control through here, but also it can be submerged underwater for when we go swimming. On top of that, guys, we got a bunch of these little waterproof candles, and we have a ton of them. Now, I'm not exactly sure how they work, but apparently you can just toss them in the water. And there we go. We've got a cool underwater light. I think I'm going to go ahead now and put all of these in the pool and see how it looks. It looks like stars. It's so cool. We got to launch this box fort. As you can see, it's already nighttime. You can barely even see my hand. So we got to get in the box fort, launch it in the water, and then grab all of our gear and get inside. All right, so we've just released the floating box fort into the pool. I think we definitely need to do some repairs in here. But once the repairs are done, we can get our stuff ready. So we got a waterproof bag here, and this has all the stuff in it that we're gonna need for this box fort, including some extra goodies for the fire. Of course, we need lights. So we're gonna start decking this box fort out with lighting to start. That's there we super go, bright. dude. That's perfect. We also have some flashlights. Already, this is starting to look great. Dude, it is. Got some rope, because you never know when you're gonna need that. We also have these guys, in case we have to go in the water. We actually bought underwater diving lights. Now, normally we've been using these flashlights, but after one dive with these, they actually break. Comes in a little case here, and this is the flashlight. It is a legit waterproof light. And we can go right underwater with this thing and use it. I have two of these. We have our LED customizable waterproof lights. So we're gonna set these up around the box fort. We're gonna use some double-sided tape to tape them on the walls. And then we're gonna tape the control panel so we can actually have controllable lighting in a floating box fort. How cool is that? The customizable lights are in place. Now we see the controller. We got the panel mounted on the side of the wall. Boom, check that out. That is so sick. Oh, that one's going on like a crazy Ooh. one here. It's a box for a party. I love how we can control both of them with the one controller. It's so sick. No billionaire's floating box for a yacht isn't complete without this. You probably think, Pop Jake, what is this? It's a doorbell. Because, you know, if someone comes to visit us in the middle of the night or in the middle of the day and we don't hear them knocking, we're sparing no expense on this box fort. So this box fort's got a doorbell. All right, there we go, guys. We got the receiving end of the doorbell. And then we have this bad boy, which is the doorbell button. So I'll test it out here. Dude, that is sick. We have a box fort doorbell. All right, so this has to go on the outside of the box fort. So I just installed the doorbell. Check this out. That is so sick, man. That is unreal. So is it the front door? We got the blue light, the blue light, the doorbell receiver. I've got kind of my pajamas because once we do go to bed, I want to change into some stuff. It's getting colder here. We also got some water in case we get thirsty in our nice little canteen here. So that's going to go over here. And we have food coming. We got to get ready. We got pizza coming because it's a floating box, but we're in our backyard. She's starving. Dude, I am so hungry, man. I cannot wait for pizza. Now, guys, if we do get 100,000 likes and we have to do this in the lake, it's gonna be a lot harder because we have to bring all the water, all the food we need for 24 hours, at least here. You know, we got cell phone service, so you can order Uber Eats. So now guys, Logan's making some repairs. Um, definitely when you're floating on a box fort, things start to break, things start to move apart. We're a little concerned that we're losing air because everything's starting to feel a little droopy in here, which is kind of concerning. But we do have to get ready because we are gonna be making a fire out front on the patio. That's not all, we've got one of these bad boys. It is an underwater and waterproof speaker. We have a game gaming system in here. We got the Nintendo Switch, which I'm going to break out in a little bit. I have it kind of in the waterproof bag because just in case everything goes south really quickly. But we got some tunes on here, so let's uh, turn this on and play some music. Oh, there we go, guys. We got music on the portable waterproof stereo. I think I'm going to put it on the wall here so we can listen to it while we're going to bed. That is so sick. Let's mount it up. Now we're going to put together our underwater flashlights. These are kind of like regular flashlights, except they're a little bit more heavy duty. As you guys can see, they come in this like waterproof crazy case. Here's the flashlight comes with a arm mount. Normally we try to use head mounts underwater and honestly that's really tricky. And then holding a flashlight and trying to swim is difficult. So having an arm mount is awesome there we go yo that is bright this is brighter than all the lights we have in here it's so cool whoa dude look at the water i went ahead and put the actual flaps oh 
Oh, looks like the doorbell's ringing. Who could it be? Oh, yo, it's pizza time, dude. On a floating box for bro. Yo, that is sick, dude. We're literally eating pizza. In the most luxurious floating box for Dude, what do we get, man? Fast me a slice of pizza, dog. Oh, dude, that looks good. Awesome. Thanks, man. Mmm. So we just finished up with dinner. Now we're gonna have a fire and if you guys saw our previous floating box for it We had an actual fire floaty which was attached to the box But because this is so big and it's a billionaire box for it We can have a fire out on the patio. So we're gonna go out there right now We're gonna set up a fire and have a nice little fire on the patio get warmed up before bed. Uh oh it's leaking. So update, we just had to come to shore because we started to hear a leak on the front floaty and Logan's out there right now. There's a massive leak going on. We don't know where it's coming from. We definitely don't want to repeat the Titanic. Get off the side! Get off the side! We're gonna get out of the box for it right now, try to fix this leak and see if we can't get it patched up. We're gonna locate it, hopefully get this thing put back in shape because right now we're losing air. I gotta get out of here really quick. So we went ahead and fixed the leak. Hopefully that'll hold for the night. So if that does sink, we'll still be safe over here, but it is kind of worrisome. Bro, while I was back there, I couldn't find any matches. We should have had some matches somewhere in here, man. They're Logan, we might not have any matches, which means we're not having a fire, unless. Legend does have it, Logan, that there is buried treasure under the sea. Apparently there was an old Boxford pirate ship that went down. Apparently what went down with it was a treasure chest full of jewels, gold, and most importantly and most valuable matches. But I mean, that would mean going underwater. It'd be too dangerous for the both of us, we can't do it. Well, it might be our only option at this point. We're departing from the box for ship. Ready to see you. Let's get our scuba flashlights on. We'll put these around our arms so we can get a good look under the water. All right, we're ready to go. Oh my God. All right, <laughs> Sorry. let's get in the water, dude. Let's get down there and find this buried treasure and get back and make a fire. <laughs> Still no sign of treasure yet, guys. We've been looking for a while now. Looks like we found some sunken treasure. Let's get this thing inside the box for and inspect it. Hopefully we find some matches. All right guys, so we got back inside, we changed into our pajamas, and now we have this. This is what we pulled out of the water. Bro, this, this looks like some 1700s pirate treasure. You, you got the pirate symbol of the smiling octopus, dude. Let's check out what's inside. Hopefully we got something in there. Oh, dude, check it out, we're rich. We got emeralds, we got, we got coins, bro. We got so much. Oh wait, 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 more importantly, we got a lighter. Oh yeah, oh. looks like we're having a fire to warm ourselves up tonight, dude. But guys, we do have a slight issue. The front floaty is starting to still leak. We tried to patch as best as we could, but it is completely like just sinking. So we're gonna try and have a fire out there because that was supposed to be the patio. It was supposed to be the part that we had the fire on, but now it's kind of sinking in the water. So we're gonna try our best. Like Jake said, this part of the fort is like sinking. So I don't think it's gonna hold Jake and I both. I'm enjoying the night's heat. Jake, how is it back there? I'm actually being pretty comfortable back here it kind of sucks a little bit but me and logan are going to take turns around the fire and as always guys if you are making a box for it, don't have a fire in or near your box for it because it's very dangerous we got the living quarters we got the fire pit and we got the stars and we got the water stars check that out now it is time to get to bed we do have a nintendo switch and we do want to play that but i think we'll play that in the morning with breakfast because we're both extremely tired we went swimming we built this whole box fort it has been such a long 24 hours but luckily in our nice millionaire box fort we have some sleeping bags so we're gonna set up our sleeping bags get nice and cozy all right logan's in his sleeping bag I'm over here in my sleeping bag. Honestly, I love these floating box forts because it's just so relaxing. It slowly floats you to sleep. So now that we're ready to go to bed, it's time to turn off the lights. All right, guys, most of the lights are off. Now the last lights are LED lights. So let's uh, 
use our wall mounted LED. Oh, whoops, change it to a different color. Ah, oh, there we go. Night guys, see you in the morning. Yo, what's up, dude? It's party time. What the fuck, boy? Yeah, boy. Come on, man. Get the lights on, dude. Oh my god. Dude, the whole Guys, look how close I was. We didn't sink last night, so that's a good thing. Everything seems to be in order. It's a beautiful day. The pool is looking great. We've been floating here for a while now. I honestly slept the whole night. No issues whatsoever. There was like a few times last night where we started spinning and I started to feel like I was dizzy and kind of like sick. But other than that, it was like really nice, like slow rock. It also got really cold last night, so I'm really happy we had our sleeping bags. I mean, if you guys have been around long enough to have seen our first floating box fort, you will know the difference between a regular survival box fort and the billionaire's flooding box fort. This is completely different. This is literally a mansion. But now that we're up, I think it's time to get some breakfast. And uh, I'm going to set the Nintendo Switch up because I want to play some video games. Because this is a billionaire's floating box fort, it's a luxurious floating box fort. We've got the Nintendo Switch here, so I thought it'd be really cool to set this up. We can play some video games after breakfast. You use our tape and we're going to mount it just on the wall here. And I think that'll be perfect to play on. There we go guys, we got the Nintendo Switch mounted on the wall. We've got everything we need to play. Mario Kart 8, Nintendo Switch, in a box fort, floating on water. How sick is this? And we've got the little accent LED lightings there, so we got some cool stuff. We got that set up, so now we're going to play some games after breakfast. And oh, I hear the doorbell. Oh, it's Logan! Oh gosh. Oh no, oh, no, 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 no. Not the food, bro. Oh, Don't no. lose the food. Hey. We keep losing air out of the back raft, guys, as you know, so it's really dangerous over there. Awesome, thanks, dude. Got our nice breakfast bagels. Breakfast bagels, dude. Of course, in the luxurious floating box, but we have food delivered. Look at that. Mmm, that's good. We're gonna play a little bit of Mario Kart. We gotta bring this in more of our box for us for sure. Yo, Jake, I kind of feel like a morning swim. Dude, we should, man. So let's get changed into our bathing suits, and because we're in a floating box fort, it's the perfect time to wake up with a nice, refreshing morning swim. It's time to go swimming. Woo! Going out for, oh my god, dude, that's so much. Go for it, whoa! There goes Logan. Go, 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 go! Here we go! It's the smallest little air pocket. I'm surviving in here! Logan! Logan, guess where I am? I'm in the hole! This is cool. We're running out of here. We gotta go back down. That was so awesome. We survived. It was lit, dude. And guys, don't forget, if you want us to take this and go up north and do this on an actual lake and try to survive on an actual lake, I doubt it'll be as luxurious because that'll be legit straight survival. But if you guys want us to do this, let's get 100,000 likes on this video. I know you can do it. Share it with your friends, share it with your mom, share it with your grandma. I know we can get there and we'll go to a lake and do a floating 24 hour box for challenge in the middle of a lake. Tasman, Papa Jake, and Logan here from Team Epiphany. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time for another awesome video. Uh -huh.